The latest figures for HIV in the UK show that um, 6,660 people were newly infected and diagnosed with HIV in 2010. Although the number of people living with HIV in the UK is, is large and may actually reach the 100,000 mark next year. But also the number of people being infected abroad, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, has decreased. Um, and so people coming to the UK from other countries, especially Africa, we're seeing less and less HIV infections already present in those people. Um, the actual rate of infections is plateauing or even decreasing. Um, so it's a mixed picture. Uh, it's still a serious condition, it's still something to be worried about. But people need to know that they can test and if they test early enough before their immune system is damaged, and they go on the correct treatment that they can live happy, healthy, productive lives. In 1982, uh, a man called Terry Higgins uh, died of AIDS and he's one of the first people in the UK to be diagnosed with AIDS and, and the first person to actually die of AIDS and his friend Martin Butler and his partner Rupert Whittaker um, were very concerned about his death and the lack of knowledge about AIDS and the, the lack of support services for, for people with AIDS. Um, so they got together and formed a, a very small community group which was, a, which was based in somebody's bedroom. They didn't even have an office. Um, they just had a, a, an extra phone line put in. So it was like a helpline where people could phone up and get advice and support. Um, and they lobbied for improvements in, in healthcare and for money to be spent on research into AIDS. Um, and for the, for the British government to take aid seriously because by that time you know, a number of people were dying and, and there was no idea really of what was causing the condition. Um, the National AIDS Council um, exists to facilitate and coordinate the national multi sector response to HIV and AIDS in Zimbabwe. We established in 2000. Um, our mandate basically is to ensure that uh, there's harmony in um, the programs to combat the spread of HIV infections, to provide for treatment um, for people living with HIV, as well as support um, services including management and uh, monitoring evaluation. Zimbabwe has come a long way now um, to the extent that uh, we're one of the best cases uh, of HIV prevention in the world. In fact, if you look at our situation uh, before 2000, we were quite uh, far behind in terms of prevalence because it was uh, over 26%. But over the years, we've been able to reduce it. And now uh, we're just above 13%. So the best measure of the successes in HIV prevention would rather be the HIV incidence which speaks to new cases of infection within a given time as opposed to the maximum number of cases at a given time. Terence Higgins Trust has a, a particular interest in certain countries in sub-Saharan Africa like Zimbabwe. Uh, in sub-Saharan Africa, um, after South Africa, Zimbabwe is the country that has the highest prevalence of HIV in the general population. Now, um, it's, I believe that it's currently around 9% of the population in Zimbabwe are living with HIV, whether they know it or not. Um, the, the situation in terms of the medical care available in Zimbabwe has improved quite radically in the last 10 years. 
and we, we believe about half the people who should be on treatment in Zimbabwe are now on treatment. But that still means half the population who are living with HIV in Zimbabwe are not on treatment um, and we still believe that a lot of people are not coming forward for testing because there's still you know, there's still high levels of stigma and discrimination and there, there's still ignorance and fear about HIV and AIDS um, and that stops people coming forward for testing. So there, there have been improvements and there, there, there's been a big investment in funding treatment in, in Africa, including Zimbabwe, from all sorts of countries, from developing countries um, and from developed countries in the West. There's been investment in money spent on HIV treatment um, and that's why we're in a situation now where the, the level of the epidemic in Zimbabwe and other countries in sub-Saharan Africa is going down. So, so there is hope um, and there is investment in treatment and hopefully the picture will get better in the next decade. I'm a white heterosexual 67 year old guy that was first diagnosed in 2007. Um, been married three times. Um, I have five children. Um, recently retired, well, three years been retired. Also um, changed my life around since being diagnosed HIV. Um, I've met a uh, different class of people, made better friends and seem to have a more fulfilled life since be becoming HIV. Maybe if I'd used a condom, yes, um, but because the people I was seeing were re relatively my age, um, I didn't think I needed to, but HIV has no age barrier, so it um, goes without saying. If you want to have sex, be protected. Stigma and discrimination needs to be tackled very much, especially through all the different cultures we have in this country. Mm. 
mshiri mbungeji abesero mwana huyu saka mazwano titere nokuti aba vasati vaku mazwauji ma ARV asi mazwano titera vakapedza chi e urungwa wacho anengwa apa pachirongwa takurara matizi takaita se takadaro Panachino, she that think at the Tinegacha Zuka Kumashuri. Mushin Mugunget, did you want to know my ARV? My ARV are right, can I chink a battle? Who reposes? I was in the Tom. Murutom did not Tom. What's my I was at our home. Eva no maja o makot ndi awa tangwa na B1, uzeta B2, uzeta at one, at two, then uzeta uzeta baseline, uzeta pinda pa initiation, uzeta pinda pa initiation ni maji mungu mapenza, ma busiwa juu ya sisi manuira ninga mungu mchezeda sisi mchezoeita. Oh, mama, to thank you for the art. Do you want to go out with the art? Art. Eh, can I make one of my ear of? Do you want to art? Right. So, you made a part in it at the moment. You made a change of direction. You need to do the art. Art. Daddy, 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 daddy. Um, you have to get a CD for CD for count. You need a part. To go tanga, get a part. Three hundred thirty-five. And the guys who tanga kuma do have been four hundred and forty-one. Saga Abba and Sandator of foot. Sagan do not my I became interested in working for Terence Higgins-Strauss because I'm living with HIV myself. I was diagnosed in 2004 and within three years I was on medication. Um, and it was about a year after I started on medication that, that I applied for a job at Terence Higgins-Strauss. And at, at that time it was very important for me to, to do something, to be involved. Um, I, I felt that people didn't know enough about HIV. I felt that I didn't know enough about HIV before I was diagnosed and I didn't really understand then that it was a manageable condition. My, my instant reaction was you know one of, one of fear um, and I thought that I would get ill and I thought that I would probably die um, a lot younger than I would have died um, if I'd remained healthy. Um, so I learned a lot about HIV and about AIDS once I was diagnosed and then I felt I could make a difference by becoming part of Terence Higgins Trust and giving that information to other people. I wanted to help people and you know there's a great satisfaction in, in knowing that you've, you've helped people to cope with the condition and to come to terms with their diagnosis. I've been very lucky in a lot of ways with my diagnosis. I think I came to terms with it very quickly and I think what was important was that I had a support network, a group of friends um, who, who had positive attitudes towards HIV. So I, I didn't really experience a lot of stigma or a lot of discrimination. You know, to begin with, 
I didn't tell a lot of people that I had HIV. I only told a few close friends and close family members. And, and although some of them were shocked and they were worried about me, I didn't really experience any negative reactions. No, no one tried to blame me or say that it was a terrible thing. And no one that I knew seemed to be worried that I might infect them. Um, the people were, were generally very generous and very sympathetic when I told them. Um, I know that a lot of people do experience discrimination, but generally I've been very lucky that way. It took me six months to inform my relatives. Um, well, I don't have a mother and father, so basically it was my ex-partner and my two young girls that I keep in touch with. Um, I just told them, sat, sat them down, said, I've got something to tell you, I'm HIV. Um, what do you think? And they've been very good. In fact, my ex-partner tells me if I become very ill and can't look after myself, she will look after me anyway. So my girls had on we at the time, um, and I told him with the medication as it is now, giving you a life expectancy of 40 years, it wouldn't be the HIV that killed me, it would actually be my time of life, getting old, you know. And with that, Cassandra, my oldest daughter, started crying. And I said, don't cry, darling, you know. It's a fact of life. When you become old, you die. Uh, and that was it. And I keep in touch with them. Um, I've got two grandchildren, and they don't stop me from picking them up, kissing them, or anything like that, you know. We're all part of a family. Mm. And how uh, is the taken? I was going to test for food. I was positive. I was positive. in terms of my family, the, the person that I told was my sister. Um, and I, I waited a few years before I told her because um, my mother was quite, quite old around the time that I was coming to terms with my diagnosis. Um, and I didn't want to worry my mother. And I didn't want to tell my sister initially because I thought she might tell my mother and that, you know, when my mother was in poor health, that might actually make her health worse. So it was a difficult period um, and my mother died. And then after my mother died, um, I, I talked to my sister about HIV. Um, and it was a difficult time as it all, all, often is with a bereavement. Um, but I told my sister and she was very accepting. She understood quite a bit about HIV 
already because she works in the health profession and she's been very supportive. We have the women's support groups. It's women only, and it's all women living with HIV, and so it's a closed group. And in that sense, uh, when women meet, they know that they are, everybody in the room is living with HIV, and they feel free to talk to each other, to share experiences, to talk about how they're dealing with medication, or to talk about getting pregnant, or to talk about disclosure. Um, and so within the support groups, we try uh, to provide information and to provide skills. So we do things like um, condom workshops um, and safer sex. Uh, we do things like um, bringing in a specialist to talk about getting pregnant safely. Um, we bring in a specialist to talk about treatment and side effects. So a support group for women, therefore, is a safe sp place for positive women where they can meet, share, get information, learn, um, and support each other. So the, the emphasis is on peer support. The emphasis is not on us providing support, but providing a, play, a space where people can support each other. I was in the hospital. 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 program 2003. So I was doing HIV The influences of stigma come from all sorts of areas, but you know, if you grow up in a family where there's a, a discrimination and prejudice, you will grow up with that prejudice. Um, and a lot of that hasn't gone away because uh, there's a lot of, there's a tendency to think uh, HIV is for gay people. Um, and a long time ago, gay people used to be seen as dirty people. Um, that has changed a great deal, but not much with HIV. I think there are some advantages to 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 being a gay man uh, and being diagnosed with HIV because it's something that I've known about for a long time and I and I wasn't ignorant about. So 
you know, I managed to avoid becoming HIV positive for 20 years and I knew about condoms, I knew about prevention and I tested regularly. So I, I think being a gay man and, and knowing that gay men were particularly affected by HIV w was very useful. And the other thing was that I, I knew people who were living with HIV already and I saw that they, they seemed relatively healthy and happy and I knew that they were taking medication. Um, and the things that had improved. So I don't know what it's like for people in other communities, um, but, I, but I have a feeling that other communities are less willing to talk about HIV than the gay community. Um, but there's still some stigma and discrimination within the gay community. There was a survey um, a couple of years ago that showed that the majority, 51% of gay men would decide not to have sex with another gay man if, if he disclosed that his, he was HIV positive in advance of getting together. So, you know, the majority of people, gay men, still have some worries about HIV um, and possibly an exaggerated worry because if condoms are used properly and if, if people think about how they're going to deal with risks, um, and the other ways that the HIV can be prevented, then there is no, no real reason to say to someone, oh, I'm not going to have sex with you because you have HIV. Uh, and the other thing that, that gay men sometimes don't realize is that somebody who has HIV and who knows that they have HIV and they're on treatment is a lot less infectious than somebody who has a HIV and has never tested and doesn't know about it because those people are likely to have very high levels of the virus um, in their, their blood and their other body fluids. And, and so those people who don't know about HIV um, and who are not on treatment are, are likely to be very infectious and much more of a risk to, to other gay men. drama. drama up to seven. Treatments, <laughs> 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 Ingari <laughs> 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 As a mushroom, we can get you. Put in this pin that pop, but you don't wap, and I war, Ratanga war, you waited like a wand as I do needs. The Ratanga would disturb, but she would pay you warm. So she can does it. Ah, my pet and dinner does it. Did not taste. Gavanda no taste. So she would do it. Gavanda bat.
through experiencing night sweats, flu-like symptoms, and generally feeling run down. So um, I did have a blood test um, envelope in my house, so I took it to the blood clinic because I thought there wouldn't um, I would have nothing to lose to get tested. And um, the doctor then phoned me and said he had some bad news for me, which, to my horror, he said I was HIV. Shock horror, really. I felt as if somebody hit me in the stomach with a sledgehammer. Um, became worried because I didn't know where to go. I didn't know about any organisations regarding HIV. And it wasn't until after the three month cooling off period that I went for further blood tests. And the clinical nurse told me about the Crescent organisation for people living with HIV and their families. And then I realised I wasn't alone. Positive, young two thousand in saving. positive. positive. Again, Shaganaga, we have never the cheetahs support group in the city, Squawk Marara Miro Nema Gariro. Negutuana Sunungu and the governor Tanga Sununga and the one who taught in the repository. Notice Sanga Shatua as Nusis Nabasa and Tin Dover and the Tanga to Dizavang and community. Dag to Fumba and she Dizavang, Kutiva Sire, Kutika Nawarwara, Unenda Kupi, Chich Noitika, Nutanga Waita Se, do so to the positive. She chinned the power Simba for my exercise. Nuti. Just eating healthily. Um, I don't have too many fry ups. Well, in fact, I don't have any fry ups at all. Um, no fast food as such. Um, I just generally have a healthy diet, you know. Um, eating well. Um, looking after myself. I don't smoke, I don't drink, which is also a bonus towards keeping yourself healthy once you've been diagnosed HIV. I've just had a knee operation and my knees have been giving me problems for a few years so if I do any uh, exercise it's just walking. 
I don't do gym or anything like that because at the moment I'm restricted. positive. <laughs> Shire positive. Then, from six months and above, I think I would, I would just have a porridge. Then we can go on my. She has it for 24 months. Situation is really huge. According, no good is so what thing it what I drop. I was as quesil. A panacha cave, a crotambe as ripo. Is as you do good to fung. 
at zero kwa shagamba. Nguti ndai wendiri mukoma na akapinda makawanda. Kazi wanga rukumu kumbwa kwao. Akasanga na wone shagawanda. Saka tika dauti tsage. Wakamba chini. Banones. Takujungo fambira na nichi. Nengu wa shatuno dai zuzi te kurara ma. Diri muzi. Situation Yagada. And I hid the fungus, Uga Funga, Masoja, one not zika, to disadvantage Yerip. I should do to fungus today. I know zika. Add zika manjee, while we put up one's race. Saka could drink in one is as if to My tribe, Every seven o'clock. Morning, Monday. Why? situation has changed a lot since then. Since, since the early 2000 period, um, most people have been taking one or two pills a day. Um, and there, there are lots of pills now that combine the three different drugs in one pill. And often people take that one in the morning with breakfast, or they take the pill at night before they go to sleep. So there's been a massive change in the number of drugs that people have to take. And, and quite often now, now people only take one pill a day sometimes two pills a day, and, and that's the, the most common occurrence now for people living with HIV. They take one or two pills a day, and that keeps them healthy. used a condom, yes, um, but because the people I was seeing were re relatively my age, um, I didn't think I needed to, but HIV has no age barrier, so it um, goes without saying, if you want to have sex, be protected. In general, people should listen to the message that's been um, broadcast that, you know, HIV it isn't just for um, different, um, some groups, you know, it, it is for everybody, you know, um, whether you be white, black, heterosexual, gay, or men sleeping with men, you know, it's, it's there, it's a reality, it's not a myth. It is the fact of living. Take up any problem, you just go. Then you are not with us. Plumbing 
ine zakatu wande maende. Ino pa apetai tu kutumu ujige. Ine ma fatsi, ma carbohydrates, chichi jese zuri mo. Saka kano sin apetai tu kujua. That plan bila nti yoy ine tu kutu ino pa apetai. Kutuji. Then we'll get that. Miruak. Saka waga to piwa ji. Ma plan di nati ya. Watu ya piwa nas. Ipa apa wudi nga waji ji. Ma plan. Eh. Anu tingi so kona tani kwa anu. Eh. Wanu pa mahara. Oho. Iko zuno zizi. Zuno zirguli. Zirgundi fambira mune zara naka. Pana bandi no chema. Tukwita basara. Tumuruwa basko rogu bakunu. Apu tu vainona. Up to borrow the race course, and I got to win ya. And to the right, so we da pana gana jandi numbonzo we do it. I got to see my bandi river na ba. We do it when we do it. We do it as 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 we do it. Ayo apa sahaja yang dia rasa, bukan dalam milyar untuk orang fikir soalan yang ni. Eh, eh, eh. Mana problem? Ini perlu sahaja ini ni. Dah kutung kau sih, dah kutung kau dah. Marah milyar untuk kutung kau itu, orang untuk kutung kau itu orang semua ni anu sih tak andi na. Dua marah milyar untuk kutung kau itu, orang untuk kutung kau ramu orang dekat sana orang ni muna orang enggak cik sih ni andi na. Dekat dalam kau orang orang itu muni, yang orang dekat dalam orang sorot itu orang fungsi zaman itu zaman sorot ini zaman aku ramai menteri positif. Ubi ni orang gua jasuk aku. Jangan kau fana ni muna asin na. Nuku tanya ramai orang singgah sorot ini jasuk kari ni. Eh, sekarang dalam kau dalam kau ramai orang semua ramai orang ni yang muna yang enggak cik sorot ini na. Indo tu kau tu anji na. Nuku tu sorot ni orang muna ni muna yang enggak cik sorot ini na. Atau kau fana, atau nak kutung bosi. Atau sekarang dalam kau sorot orang sejajar. Muna ano ruara kasi inchi ndomu kurudira uta atanga ano test kwa uta atanga kwenye kwa kuti roparake raka mira se uta agusona mara piru anga itwa uye pane wa ano ruara vangara na chiruara kudar dinova shingi saku tuvara mbwa shingwa ma piri tuvara geku shote saku mwamsho anga neungua semata uri ruata kai itwa niangu dae achi ruadzi wa shaka puri kiza shota uta taku muka pa karar ni ni paje shangu dunongo kurudira uti. Kuamwe, asadi wa tasa ni asadi wa test wa. Zicho kwa dizio pa umire, kuwa ibutanzu, achada ibutanzu, unoniara, unotariza mu, unofa. Kuti ukaniara, unosipe sira uta kurira mpa, muiro pa. Uyesi. Kwenye tamu nyam, unogo na kufa, kutoa kuingoa kazi nuno kera, sasa kwa karawa kati.
Tesla uzima pa umiri chino chakanaka openi watakura rama iko zvino There is some good news that the although the although the number of people living with HIV in the UK is is large and may actually reach the 100,000 mark next year um, the actual rate of infections is plateauing or even decreasing um, so it's a mixed picture uh, it's still a serious condition it's still something to be worried about but people need to know that they can test and if they test early enough before their immune system is damaged and they go on the correct treatment that they can live happy healthy productive lives <laughs> in general, people should listen to the message that's been um, broadcast that, you know, HIV it isn't just for um, different, um, some groups, you know, it, it is for everybody, you know, um, whether you be white, black, heterosexual, gay, or men sleeping with men, you know, it's, it's there, it's a reality, it's not a myth, it is a fact of living. Oh, my God.